Hey guys, welcome back to Masonic Curators, where we are preserving Masonic history through storytelling. Today on the program, you might miss something in the background there. Normally what's there is a plate, this plate. Uh, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about it. I've also got a little a couple pieces of paper here I'll read for you in just a moment. I'll set right there. Uh, now this particular plate, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can give you guys a really good look at it here. Now this is the Masonic Brotherhood Center. Uh, the back of the plate says, sponsored by the Grand Lodge, free and accepted Masons of the state of New York, New York's World's Fair, 1964-65. This strikingly superb building on Avenue of the Americas features an exhibit hall, lounge, restrooms, and a patio. Its unusually interesting exhibits embrace six centuries portraying world famous Freemasons, their historic achievements, and Masonry's contributions to mankind. Its theme, Brotherhood, the Foundation of World Peace. Now, this piece was commissioned. It's limited. You're not going to find a whole lot of these. Um, you can see the back there. And you can see almost straight through it. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but it's transparent. Uh, what's unique about this, um, the World's Fair that year, 1964-65, <clears throat> I'm going to try to inlay some, uh, some images of the actual uh, building as well in this video. And what's interesting about the entire experience was uh, just the striking kind of, since it was the 60s, we had this kind of space theme that always went on. I really enjoyed the 1960s kind of art style, which dealt with futuristic themes, um, Images of uh, Tomorrowland from Disneyland, things like that just are striking to me. And that's similar to these kind of space themes that they did there. This here actually was a rotating cube. The G was a rotating cube. It lit up, I guess. Um, the square and compasses was viewed from all angles. So you can see this line here that goes up through the center being on the other side would look the same. Uh, quite a, uh, an interesting design. There's a small uh, pond here with a bridge that went over. And if you search online for the 6465 Brotherhood Center or just type World's Fair uh, Masonic Center, you'll see all kinds of really cool imagery. Um, some of the other things that are interesting about the entire thing is that uh, supposedly this piece here uh, is actually still around, uh, if you can believe it or not. Uh, it's at the Utica Masonic Center, like a, a retirement home, I guess. Um, I couldn't verify this with images of the center, but um, nonetheless, if it's still there, really cool. Maybe go there and check it out. Uh, how I found this was, um, you know, I was out one evening and I was going to grab a couple bottles of wine before going to a friend's house. And there was a small antique shop. And I said, well, you know, let me just do a quick run through. And sure enough, I went up the stairs and down the stairs and uh, couldn't find anything and I just happened to look off to my left and down and here it was. Now I had already been familiar with this with the Brotherhood Center and its story and I think I even did a Midnight Freemasons piece on it a few years ago but that was where it ended. I had never found anything. I'd never found a really cool like trinket or medallion or anything to have of my own from this. And that's what this is. So I looked down and there it was. It was really serendipitous, actually. Um, you can see some of the really kind of, um, it'll sheen a little bit there. It's like kind of gold leafed here on the archway. The rest of this is very, uh, it's slightly texture, textured. Um, but just a fantastic uh, piece here. And again, these uh, square and compasses still on display. So uh, check it out in the show notes or in the little description in the YouTube. I'll put a link to, uh, there's a lodge out there, and I can't remember the name off the top of my head. However, they've got an extensive list of um, pictures, day and night, of the actual um, center. And... Just from the official guide from the New York World's Fair, um, it had a description here that says, The Masonic Center, the Masonic Brotherhood Center, is a display case of Masonic history and memorabilia going back to medieval times. The center is sponsored by the Grand Lodge of the State of New York. It includes half a hall, I'm sorry, of ex uh, exhibitions, a lounge, office, and outside patio. Admission is free. 
uh, highlights. Foremost American Mason dominating the hall is an 11-foot statue. Documents uh, the 11-foot statue, statue uh, in Masonic regalia of George Washington, the first of 14 American presidents who have belonged to the Brotherhood. Events from his life are portrayed in three-dimensional scenes. The Bible on which he took the oath of office as president is on display. Since the Middle Ages, documents on view dates back to 14th century, uh, when the Masons were the cathedral builders of Europe. Among them is a plan of union for the colonies written by Mason Benjamin Franklin in 1754. <clears throat> uh, the Masonic Center also says, Documents and other memorabilia illustrate the history of the Masonic Brotherhood sponsored by the Grand Lodge in New York. Uh, this is from the official guide that was uh, secondary released. Um, and it also highlights the Washington exhibit, and rare documents, this time wording a little bit different, Mason Benjamin Franklin, 1754, Plan of Union for the Colonies, is one of the documents on exhibit. Others date back uh, as far as the 14th century, and admission was free. Um, you know, it makes me wonder if we would do a Masonic Center or do something like this uh, today. Apparently, the construction of this started in around 1960, 62, something like that, and we built it over the course of a few years. And it was completely sponsored by the Brotherhood Center and the uh, Free and Accepted Mason State in New York. So um, I happen to believe that the secondary, the Brotherhood Center, whatever that was that funded it, was probably just an offshoot of the Grand Lodge of the State of New York, maybe like a committee that gathered money as well. Uh, but in any case, that's it. I hope you enjoyed today, and we'll talk to you all next time on Masonic Curators. Thanks for watching.